come to area under a curve. Uh, so the idea here is essentially um, if we want to have, uh, if we have some graph, okay, and we basically want to figure out, say, the area between the axis and the curve. So um, the goal here is to find the area between um, the x-axis and the curve. Um, um, we're going to consider area as uh, positive if it's above the x-axis and negative if it's below. So the area is positive if above the x-axis and negative if below. Um, so the sh shape that I've drawn would not be very easy to just sort of calculate the area using formulas we already know. So we're going to start off with a, just a very simple shape. Um, so let's just find the area between zero and five under the graph on the right, which is just the uh, horizontal line y equals four. So this is the horizontal line y equals four. And so what we're looking for is we want to find the area of this region. So this is just a rectangle. So this is a rectangle. So the area should just be length times width. And so we have, this is distance five and distance four. So our area is just five times four or 20. And now let's go ahead and look at this curve that's in pieces. And our job is to find the area between, uh, between x equals one and eight, which is under the curve. So again, if it's above the axis, it's considered to be positive area. If it's below the axis, it's considered to be negative area. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're stopping at eight. If it's above the axis, it's considered to be positive area. So this first rectangle is uh, width one times positive two for height. And so it has area positive two. This one here, we have width four times height of negative one. So we have an area of negative four. And then this last piece, we have a width two times a height of positive three. Again, it's just three rectangles. And so we consider this to have area of positive six. So the total area will just be these pieces put together. So we have positive two plus negative four is negative two plus six, and we wind up with an area of positive four. So uh, I'm just gonna do Sheeting. So this one, we have this area, this area, and this area. Again, if it's above the x-axis, it's positive. If it's below, it's negative. All right, and let's do one more example. So we're looking now between x equals negative two and four. So here's x equals negative two and x equals four. And we have a slope of negative 3 fourths and a point 
that's minus negative two, so our uh, x value will be negative two and our y value is three. So we're at the point negative two comma three. I'm gonna graph this in another color. And then we have a slope of negative three fourths. So we go down three over four. Draw our line. And then just to be precise with our points, when x equals four, we should be at a uh, y value of negative 1.5. So we have our positive area up here. And then we have our negative area down below. We are working with triangles here. So the big triangle had base four and height three. And we are looking at a positive area. And then the little triangle had base two and height uh, one half, or we, sorry, we could view it as negative 1.5 for our height. Um, so you can just imagine that as the rectangles have negative height if they're below, positive height if they're above are the triangles in this case. So this one, we're gonna wind up with a negative area. Right? So the area of that first triangle, we have one half times base times height. So we're looking at, um, I'm gonna do capital for the first and lowercase for the second. So we are looking at one half times four times three. And then we have one half times two times negative 1.5. You could view these as positive areas and then just subtract it because it's below the curve, or we can view them as having negative heights. Um, so we have area six uh, plus area negative 1.5. And we wind up with our total area of 4.5. So we've just been using geometry here, um, rectangles, triangles, we could do half circles, um, quarter circles, those sorts of things, just using our uh, area formulas from geometry. Um, so that's just a brief area under the curve.